could this possibly be the most underrated airline in the Middle East? And I'm not talking about Qatar Airways, Emirates or Etihad. But I was genuinely impressed what this airline had to offer and how much it had improved since I last flown them in 2014. So please lean back and join me on another aviation adventure. Guys, beautiful good morning from Frankfurt and today is my birthday and what's the best way to celebrate your birthday? Fly on a dry airline, <laughs> on one of the rarest planes in service. So today we are flying to Kuwait. So usually Kuwait Airways is flying the 320neo between or at the moment from Kuwait to Frankfurt but today is the 330-800neo which I'm super excited about it. Uh, originally I was booked in economy class but at the gate I asked how much is an upgrade and she said 400 euros and I said ah oh, you know Josh it's your birthday today and it's going to be an exciting flight you have to treat yourself so I upgraded. So with the upgrade comes lounge access here in Frankfurt. So I'm going to take you to the lounge and then we're going to go to the gate to see this beautiful plane, which is only operated by two airlines so far, soon to be three with Air Greenland. And then we're going to see the 800 Neo arrive and then we're off to Kuwait on a five hour flight. Danke, danke, danke. So I literally just had one of the most touching airport moments in my entire flying life. Uh, I went to the security and the lady saw my teddy bear and, uh, and she said, oh, that's a cute teddy bear, which is a gift from my friend Dennis. Dennis, thank you so much, which I met before I checked in. And I said, yeah, it's my birthday today. And the combined team at the security, because it wasn't busy, they sang me a happy birthday. It was so nice. I wish I could have filmed it, but obviously at security you can't film. But hey, Germans can be fun and kind. So Frankfurt Airport, your security staff is just wonderful. They really made my day. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful day. I love, I love those little gestures, right? They make a difference. So spread kindness, always be nice and uh, your life is going to be great. And then the star of the day, Kuwait Airways Airbus A330-800 arrived. The airline was also the lounge customer of this plane in 2020. What a stunning bird. So with an hour delay, we finally boarding. Hi, how are you? Side kit. Side. Right, thank you. Hi, how are you? And here we are, welcome on board Kuwait Airways new flagship featuring 32 business class live flat seats in a one-to-one -one configuration. Reversed herringbone. First impression, wonderful crew, lovely cabin, super clean and super shiny. Thank you. Absolutely, yes. Beautiful. Enjoy it, Thank you. So guys, and here we are. Welcome on board the Airbus A330 800 Neo, uh, where Kuwait Airways is also the launching customer. And it was delivered during the peak of the pandemic, so they didn't make much of a fuss about it. So it was quietly delivered. It was never really celebrated. And um, which is a shame because it's such a beautiful aircraft. Um, 
had a really lovely welcome by the crew. Also re received some Arabian coffee and uh, there's no requirement to wear a mask. Kuwait removed all the restrictions so you can enter the country as before the pandemic. And uh, yeah, but let me also give you a quick little seat tour. The seat offers everything you wanted to have, from heaps of storage space to personal screen in front of you. Noise cancelling headphones are ready at your seats as well as a blanket and a pillow. You also have a universal power outlet as well as a USB and a USB-C slot. Overall, a very neat product. The safety video is shown, the plane was pushed back and we were then on our way to the runway for a six hour flight to Kuwait. And while we taxi past all those beauties, perhaps now is a good time to hit that like button or to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. That would be a great birthday present indeed. Also in terms of in-flight entertainment, Kuwait Airways offers plenty of choice, from western options, Bollywood or some great documentaries. But if you rather want to stay connected with your friends, you can connect to the in-flight Wi-Fi. Though a little overpriced, the $5 chat option seems to be the best deal. So guys, um, we are 15 minutes into the flight. First call of action, once the seatbelt sign was off, the crew was giving out those really lovely blankets. And uh, we shouldn't forget, this is just a five hour flight. So most of the Middle, Middle Eastern Airlines, they don't do that. But in terms of quality, this duvet is amazing. I also was thinking while we were being pushed back, perhaps I'm the only human being who's traveled on all the Airbus A30, 800 Neos there are. It's only Uganda Airlines, which I've traveled, or that I've been on twice now and Kuwait Airways. And soon, as you probably saw on my uh, Greenland video, perhaps soon the one who's traveled out, all three of them. <laughs> yeah, but there might be other F geeks out there who've been chasing this bird and they were flying Uganda Airlines and then they were flying uh, Kuwait Air. You never know, right? But there's a high chance that I am. So, and things are getting even better. Um, they handed out amenity kits. Something you won't see on Emirates on a six hour flight. Or Qatar, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's very thoughtful, that's very nice. It makes me feel very appreciated as a customer. Let's have a look inside. The amenity kit had quality written all over its pouch. It features moisturizer, lip balm and hand cream, eye shades, a pair of socks which I never use, a comb, toothbrush and toothpaste and even a mirror which I haven't seen in amenity kits before. There was also a shoehorn and earbuds. Not too bad if you ask me. An hour into the flight, got a beautiful meal sitting in front of me at least in terms of presentation. I don't know what it tastes like yet, but I went for the chicken Kiev um, with mashed potatoes, a side of beans, uh, some lovely dessert. And uh, the alternatives were Turkish lamb and uh, salmon. So we had three options in here. Massive portions, just looks beautiful, looks stunning. So, but I always 
comes down to what it tastes like, right? But it looks great. It looks really good. I f have a feeling that it tastes just as good. So you could also technically say that I got a little birthday cake. <laughs> uh, lovely. Yes, please. What would you uh, like? I get one of those uh, rolls. Yeah, maybe a bun as well then. Awesome, thank you so much. Guys, I'm literally two bites in the meal and I can say this is one of the best meals I've ever had on any flight. Like it tastes incredibly fresh and the chicken is very moist and super rich in flavors and so is the mashed potato. Uh, it's uh, it's it's literally a masterpiece of uh, an airline meal. Very impressed. It's an absolute sensational meal, great in flavors, and I even finished my greens, and that must mean a lot if you've been uh, frequent. So guys, it's now time for my coffee. Then I'm gonna give you guys a little review on some feedback on the service. I think the crew is very um, efficient, hardworking. Um, they're also very friendly and kind. However, they're not interested in any feedback, so they don't wanna know how was your food or how do you like the seat. And they're not, uh, not at all interested in like socializing. So they don't wanna have a chat. They don't seem to be interested in our passenger which is not a bad thing at all. Sometimes perhaps it's also a cultural thing, but whenever I fly a Middle Eastern Airlines, the crew tends to be usually very chatty, um, but they don't have that. They, they seem a bit too focused on the service, but generally this is not a complaint, just so you know. Um, though I had like, but that was also pretty much my experience on Kuwait Airways 10 years ago. I flew them on the 310 from Colombo to Kuwait and from Kuwait to Frankfurt on the Airbus A340. And I remember then, very efficient crew, very highly trained crew, but not interested at all in uh, any uh, connection or to build any connection with their passenger. However, I'm gonna have my latte now, which looks great once again in presentation. I gotta say that uh, Kuwait Airways really delivers. It's a great product, great hard product. So is the seat and uh, overall it's a wonderful experience. I personally don't care whether there's alcohol here on board or not. It doesn't take away anything from my experience. Um, so for me, that's not an issue, but there are people who said, no, the only reason why I fly business is to get drunk, to try some wine. Oh, it's all cool, fair enough, but you won't get that on Kuwait Airways. So here we are inside the loo of the 800 Neo. It's always a weird feeling when the crew sees you walking in the loo with a camera. They feel like, what's he up to? Um, anyways, first thing I notice, it looks fairly clean, fairly organized. We have some amenities there as well. Uh, facial mist as well as shaving kits. Um, and then you got the amenity kit. So, and this flight is pretty much pre-pandemic. You have everything that we used to have before, even hot towels. We got a hot towel after after the meal service, which was such like a happy, nice surprise. It's just a hot towel, but the hot towel like literally died with the start of the pandemic. And it's so great just to have it back. I missed my hot towels. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, as I said, it's a wonderful flight. It's a clean loo. It's a great product. Um, there's a few things why I say okay, hmm, all right, but I'll save that for um, my final summary of this slide. I'm gonna head back now. Well, I have a loo first, and I'm gonna head back. 
have a bit of a nap. I think that's what I deserve. It's my birthday present to myself. To finally enjoy a, a product, not just review it. And it's still like three hours to go. But that's it so far. So good. Also, a quick review of the flat bat situation. And I can honestly say that this seat combined with the bedding is extremely comfortable and gives you a lovely sleeping experience. So guys, look at this. I woke up from my nap in economy class. <laughs> totally just dreaming that I was traveling in business. No jokes aside, I had a great nap. Then I went to the bathroom and on my way there, I was approached by the crew and they asked me, are you a blogger? And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said, oh, we were supposed to have a blogger on board today. His name is like Sam something. I said, oh, Sam Chui. And they said, yeah, yeah, exactly. He was supposed to be on the flight today, but he canceled last minute. So imagine that, I was supposed to be on the same flight with Sam. <laughs> we'll probably have some great conversations. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I made my way to the economy class cabin to give you uh, a short little review. And um, it looks lovely, it looks great. Once again, every seat here comes with a personal entertainment. Great leg room situation here as well. And right now, as you can see, I am fully reclined. Comes in a 242 configuration. Uh, and yeah, it just looks just as lovely as uh, the business class. Uh, Kevin, uh, however, we're gonna start our descent in like uh, half an hour. And then once we're on the ground, I give you a full summary. But once again, when we were at the, uh, the galley, crew was really chatty, really lovely, uh, very kind, uh, asked for some feedback and stuff. And uh, was very, very honest with them. I told them exactly what I said into the camera. Um, and to their defense, they said they're still a bit on COVID, uh, COVID service. They say they are, have been asked not to engage uh, as much, uh, which explains it because once it, we, I was in the galley, they were very chatty. Anyways, this is it. This concludes my economy class review here. Quick economy class review in, uh, in the back. I'm gonna head back now to 5K in business class. After one more cake, we started our descent into Kuwait. How do I summarize my experience in Kuwait Airlines? I loved it, very much. The seat was comfortable, the cabin was spotless, and the food was outstanding. Also, the crew did a wonderful job and was super efficient and kind. They really seemed to like their job, and it did shine true. Some people would never fly in a dry airline since they love to indulge in some good wines and spirits but I personally don't care and it didn't take away anything from my experience. Overall I can strongly recommend Kuwait Airways and I'm glad to see that their whole rebranding strategy has paid off over the years. But let me know in the comment section below what you think of this flight and whether flying a dry airline is a deal breaker for you. If you enjoy my work and you want to get involved, please check out my Patreon page for some really cool extra perks, such as joining my WhatsApp group, a great place to stay connected with me and meet many like-minded aviation lovers. You will also be able to join my monthly Zoom sessions or get your Cahill hearing or have your name in the credits. The link is in the description box below. Thank you so much, Let guys. Yeah, 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 take care. Thank you. Bye bye. But this is it, guys, and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Wherever you're off to, have a safe trip, and thank you so much for watching.